But here it is, the big reveal, guys. I can't pull down this. This is my good friend Waddy, uh, Alex Watson, aka Waddy. Everyone calls him Waddy. Uh, so he is the, excuse me, he is the director and writer of, of the film Bundy Manor, which what we filmed last year, which was my first ever feature film that I've been a part of, thanks to him. And yeah, just explain what, what's Bundy Manor all about, man. So Bundy Manor is about, it's a horror film, so of course it stars a family that moves to a small town and all hell breaks loose. It's about, a, they move next to or across the street from a guy who uns, runs a extreme haunted house. And it turns out he's not just running around chasing people with chainsaws, but it is scarier. <laughs> scarier? Oh shit, okay. I can't wait to see it, even though I'm always filming it. Yeah. But yeah, you wrote this in the heat of COVID, uh, and I was there right alongside with you. What was your uh, process like while well, during COVID? So, uh, I mean, I had the idea like two years before and I wrote out an outline two years before and then it just kind of sat uh, in my drive for a while. And then during COVID, I mean, there wasn't a ton to do, let's be real. And I was dealing with a lot of issues as a lot of people were. And uh, I just realized I really wanted to get a movie off the ground. And this, out of all my ideas, this movie actually seemed plausible because it, you know, money wise, yeah. small town, all my good friends could be in it. And uh, I was like, you know what, let's try it and get this done and see if we can get it off the ground. So what you're saying is just because you have an idea two years before, just be patient. It'll come back to you uh, and you can always do it. Is that what you're saying? Manifest. Manifest that shit. Yes. Yeah. So when is the movie coming out? It's a great question. So we're currently still in post-production, but we're very close. The final cut for the editing's done. The final cut for the color correction's done. Uh, VFX, all that stuff. We're just waiting on the uh, sound, which literally could be any moment right now. And then we're going to be submitting to festivals. But all the backers will get to see it. As soon as it's done, we'll upload it so all backers can watch it as well. Awesome. And then hopefully it'll be to the public soon exactly speaking of backers this is why we're here today i'm here at the tattoo shop with wadi to fulfill a promise i made almost a year ago that if we made our goal of sixty thousand dollars a week prior to the end of the goal date that i'll get a tattoo of their choosing on my ass well today is that day and we're going to be going in and getting this done today not hey, many friends do this so I love you, <laughs> and believe me, as soon as he announced that, uh, the the donations came. I literally up. woke up one morning. I was like, "Dude, we get, let, let's help get this going faster." So I was like, "What if I just get a tattoo on my ass?" <laughs> he was like, "Are you serious?" I was like, "Yeah, f it, let's go." The backers dis submitted a design. Yes, they voted for it, and now you're gonna get it. Yeah, uh, let's go in and get this tattoo. So we're here at Black Mirror Tattoo, and this is going to be my tattoo artist, Angie. How are you doing today? Good, nice to meet you. Good. Yeah. So uh, how long have you been tattooing for? About a year and a half. A year and a half. Wow. Yeah. Just right out the gates, huh? Yeah. Like Getting awesome. close to two years. All right. Yeah. So uh, in the back earlier, like you showed me your little setup and stuff like that. Can you tell me more about your like uh, little statue that you have back there and all that stuff, like your wall? Yeah, so basically it's like a hentai artist, like prime figure, very expensive, but it's just a Chinese bootleg to tattoo. I like tattooing the figures, it's really cool. I don't know. Is that hard for you to do, like on the t small statues? Yeah, it's really hard, but those little figures, the the plastic takes the tattoo ink. Okay. So you can so sit and tattoo it and get the look you're going for for the body. Yeah. So that's where you practice on. Then you do a real human yeah. tattoo. Yeah. What inspired you to do tattoos? I've always been doing art from like kindergarten. I always drew like little hamsters. All right. That's what got me kind of started, you know? Okay. Um, then I started drawing anime and then I moved on to people. Start drawing people on skin. Oh. So yeah, it's been the passion, the dream. All right. Yeah. So you'd say my ass is a pretty good blank canvas for you? Yes, sir. <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> nice, flat. Awesome, awesome.
Last one. Last one before we get down to business. Well, thank you so much for tattooing me today. You're so awesome. By the way, she's my new uh, permanent tattoo artist. It's gonna be such a good, good job. A lot more work coming. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, follow her. Here you go, here's your Insta. Awesome, well thank you so much. All right, and we're back out. Uh, let me show it to my friend Wadi real quick. He had, he had a little cheat sheet earlier, a little, a little sneak. cheat sheet. Yeah, a little cheat sheet, you know. But here it is, the big reveal, guys. I can't pull down this. Oh, we have some family coming. All right, there it is, real quick. All right, pull that back up. It's just my side cheek, it's okay. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys on the next whatever I do on YouTube. Wild Elite Gamer is out.